So you want to be a CPA, but getting there can be so confusing. Well, you've come to the right place. Hi, my name is Cassandra Gray, and I serve as Communications Manager for NASBA, the National Association of State Boards of Accountancy. NASBA is the national association that serves the 55 state boards of accountancy that oversee and regulate the accounting profession and certified public accountants. We receive questions all the time from CPA exam candidates about the exam and licensing process. So in this video, we will walk you through the process, answer questions you may have, and at the end, guide you to some additional resources for help. Some of the questions we're asked include, what degree do I need? What college courses should I take? Will my foreign education transfer to the US? How do I take the CPA exam? How much does it cost? And when do I get my CPA license? Those are all important questions. The confusing part is the answer to each of those questions varies from state to state. Let's see if we can clear things up a little. CPAs start out as students studying accounting and business in college, then move on to take and pass the uniform CPA exam, obtain required work experience, and apply for the official CPA license. There are special education requirements that differ from state to state that must be completed in order to qualify to sit for the uniform CPA exam. For example, some states require 120 total semester hours to qualify, where other states require 150 total hours. There are also more narrow educational requirements specific to each state, such as 33 semester hours in accounting and 36 semester hours in business. A different state might require 33 hours in accounting and have no minimum semester hours for business. After all the necessary education requirements have been completed for the state of your choice, you may then apply to sit for the CPA exam. Passing exam scores can be transferred to any state for the purpose of qualifying for a CPA license. So it's okay to take the exam in one state and then later get your license in a different state. Upon successful completion of the CPA exam, the next step is to complete the other requirements necessary for obtaining a CPA license in the state in which you ultimately plan to practice as a CPA. Just like education requirements for the CPA exam, education and work experience requirements for the CPA license vary from state to state. In some states, the education requirements for the exam are the same as those necessary for the license, while in other states there are additional education requirements above and beyond the exam requirements. Likewise, work experience requirements vary from state to state. Many states require at least one year of public accounting work experience to qualify for a CPA license, while there are some states that will accept other types of work in place of public accounting experience, such as teaching, self-employment, and part-time employment. Other states have more specific requirements that might include a specified amount of auditing work experience. A few states allow international candidates that are not planning to physically practice in the United States to become a licensed CPA without requiring state residency or United States citizenship. But if you reside and work in the United States, then you must be licensed in the state where you live and practice. Most states also offer mobility privileges that will allow you to service clients across state borders using your CPA license from your home state. So how do you make sense of all this? The state boards of accountancy offer information on CPA exam and licensing requirements on their individual public websites. NASBA offers the Accounting Licensing Library, or ALL, a website containing information on all 55 jurisdictions devoted to simplifying the process for prospective CPAs. On behalf of NASBA, thanks for watching. We hope you found this video to be informative. We at NASBA strive to be the trusted resource for regulatory and professional services. For more information on the Uniform CPA Exam, CPA Licensing, and ALL, please visit our NASBA websites, alllibrary.com and nasba.org. Again, thanks for watching.